Hey everyone, I'm Edward with Everything Kayak and Bicycle. Today we're going to do a quick walkthrough from the new offering from Native Watercraft, and that is the Titan X series. Today we're going to walk through the Titan 12.5. So specs on this unit are we're about 12.8 in length, coming in at about 40 inches wide. They're saying about 138 pounds without anything on it, and then we're talking about a capacity of 500. This is going to be probably some of the most the most amount of features that we've seen from Native in a unit coming out of the Slayer Max series and this is a revamp of the Titan units and it is a really really neat unit so we're gonna go get started we'll walk bow to stern and just talk about the details that come with this unit so on the bow we are still seeing the track inserts for the handles with the rubber grips which is super nice we're gonna see all these fasteners across the deck this is gonna allow us to do a quick release plate for a bow mount motor or power pole everything lines up with a access plate right here for your electrical. So anything you're passing through the hull, drill it out, pop it through, change your mind, sell the boat, just take it off, replace it fresh and new, put your fasteners back in and be done. The rigid hatch, super nice up front here. We are gonna see a liner in the front section. This is gonna be divided. If you want more gear in there, it'll fit down through. If you wanna manage that, you use this tray. We can see these tubes inside. Those tubes are gonna be for the horizontal rod storage that we'll get to in a minute. We are still seeing the transducer pass through in this port, and then they've increased, included a strap that's in there to manage that battery, keep it from bopping around on you. A um, little cord to keep the hatch from falling on the forward with a gasket, and then we're gonna see those little press latches that we've seen from Native in the past. We are pushing on a 701 drive, so that is gonna have your weed guard, your indexer, your studdable pedals, all that good stuff. Introduction of some new tracks up top, as well as we've got some holes. There's two on each side here. Again, we talked about those tubes for the rod holders. You slide those rods in there, store them horizontally. There's a ledge in the back. We'll point that out in a minute. One of the biggest things we're going to see is the 360 seat. So this is just going to allow the versatility of this unit with the width of it. That stability is going to allow for this opportunity to be able to have that swivel seat. Underneath, we're going to have a tray. That tray is going to have a little bungee management on top of it, which is pretty cool. And then we'll still see these drop-ins that we saw on the Max series where we can put a 3600 box, 3700 tackle box in there, lock it down. On the far side here is your line for deploying that rudder. They changed up that rudder last year. And we will see on each side of the seat, down here um, below the rudder handle, as well as over here, another one of those access plates like we had up front, which are really neat. You can see them right down in there where they... Um, Again, you can do any kind of pass-throughs for that. Fish finders, uh, motor steering controls, all that kind of stuff there. And speaking of motor steering controls, I'll fold this down out of your guys' way. This space back here with this rigid cover is another battery box. Again, we have a management strap here to keep that battery stationary. It does have an insert tray. So if you wanted access into the hull, say we're pulling some of those wires, you're good to go there. And then this tray is gonna allow you to put those batteries in there Keep them nice and secure. So you're running any kind of lithiums for your um, for your motors. Let's put the cover back on the right way. It does have a little step up there. It's got these rubber holdbacks, which are super nice. They're going to keep it very, very secure. That is going to eat into our tank well a little bit, but realistically, you can only reach so far in the tank well anyways. We're going to see tracks down. We're going to see recesses for crates. Um, our gear tracks on the gunnels, like the previous models, are going to come all the way back. We'll see a little different introduction here on the flush mount rod holders, even if we skip over here. It's a different boat we're not talking about today, but the Slayer Max is going to see these flush mounts on the current models as well. Again, we're seeing the fasteners on the back. We have recesses here for rudder steering um, setups traditionally, which is going to be designed for your motor steering on these models, as well as, like we said, the track in the back with the handles again, which is super nice, it's very universal. That access plate one more time where we can hook in you know, motor leads and whatever we wanna do, power pole leads if we're hardwiring that. The stash bucket here, the, uh, the small hatch, looks like we're doing a rigid tub this year in that, which I do prefer. And then um, rudder housing again, that's that switchblade rudder that drops down. So that is a really quick run through on the Titan X 12.5. That's going to be one of the new offerings from Native this year. And guys, come by, check it out. Um, as always, with our YouTube videos, notification bell if you want a heads up on what's going on. You know, feel free to comment, ask questions, and subscribe. Cheers.